Terrain databases are updated periodically and LRUs have to be loaded with new versions. For the Mark 5 and Mark 7 eGPWS LRUs, new databases are loaded from a PCMCIA card. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the latest Terrain Database version and how to put it on a PCMCIA card to load it in the LRU. To do this job, you'll need a PC with an internet connection, a linear 64 megabyte PCMCIA card, and an Omni drive with a USB cable. The Omni Drive comes with a program called PCM. You'll need to install that on your PC. You'll also need a registered user ID and access rights. You could create an ID online at myaerospace.com. To get started, create a new folder on your computer in which to put the downloaded file. Now, go online to myaerospace.com. Follow the link to Navigational Databases and log in to download the database. Navigate to the Terrain Databases. They're organized numerically by EGPWS unit from Mark 5 to Mark 22. For each unit, you'll find the current and the previous version. Select the version you need and save it to the folder you created. The downloaded file is in a compressed format. You'll need to uncompress it. Now it's ready to write to the PCM CIA card. This part is really easy. Start the PCM software. Hook up the Omni drive. Switch off the card's write protection. Insert the card into the Omni Drive. It should slide in easily. On the menu bar, go to Actions, Copy, Files to Card, and click New. Navigate to the Terrain Database file you downloaded. The file will have a .bin extension and that normally doesn't show up in the file browser. So in files of type, select all files so that you can see the downloaded file and then select it. Check the options to erase the flash before writing and to verify the write. Then go ahead and copy the file you'll see a progress bar erasing first and then writing to the card. When the write completes, you'll see a check mark in the box next to the source file. Eject the card and switch the write protection on. One last thing. Label the PCMCAA card to identify the terrain database and the envelope modulation database. Now it's ready to take to the airplane. 